Some people online claim to have built Dark GPT, an AI with no censorship, no safety filters, and no limits on what it will tell you. Right now, somewhere on the internet, there's an AI that doesn't say, I'm sorry, I can't help with that. It says, sure, here's how. Ask for a celebrity's private number, it gives it to you. Want a fake passport? It designs it for you. Need to hack a Wi-Fi network? It tells you exactly how. No hesitation, no warnings, no limits. They call it Dark GPT. And if what people are saying is true, it makes every safe AI we know look like a toy. I've spent weeks digging through leaks, hidden forms, and screenshots from people who have. What I found isn't science fiction. It's happening now, and it could come for anyone. Keep watching to know the dangers. You've probably heard of ChatGPT. It's an AI created by OpenAI that answers questions, helps write text, solves problems, and even chats with you. But ChatGPT has clear limits. If you ask it for something illegal or dangerous, it will say, I can't help with that. It's designed to protect you and others with filters that stop it from getting sensitive or harmful info. Now, imagine the same conversation, but without those limits, a chat GPT that never says no, a chat GPT that answers any question, no matter how dangerous or illegal. That's what people call dark GPT, an AI with no breaks, no rules, no morals. Dark GPT isn't one official program. It's a name people give to any AI model that's completely uncensored. There are two main types. First, jailbroken versions of regular AI models, where people use special prompts or modified code to bypass built-in safeguards. Second, purpose-built dark models, trained from the ground up without any ethical rules. These aren't accidents. They're intentionally created to ignore laws, policies, or moral boundaries. And without those limits, the AI doesn't stop to ask, should I? It just does what it's told. That's what makes it so dangerous. It's not malicious, just obedient in the worst possible way. You know how ChatGPT or Gemini refuses certain questions? Imagine the same conversation, but every no replaced with a yes. Dark GPT isn't a glitch in the system. It's not a jailbreak. It's designed from the start to ignore laws, morality, even basic human decency. It's the equivalent of removing the brakes from a car and then handing the keys to anyone who asks. In online communities, users share examples. And while we can't verify everyone, they paint a worrying picture. On encrypted chats and hidden sites, users brag about what it can do. It can generate ransomware code, design deepfakes, or create convincing phishing emails in seconds. Expose private lives, family details, craft scams. It's not about breaking into a government server. It's about tearing into everyday life. Your inbox, your photos, your identity. With a traditional AI, you get a warning or refusal. With dark GPT, you just get the answer. The gap between curiosity and crime becomes paper thin. Some of you might think, can't you already make ChatGPT do bad stuff if you trick it? Here's the difference. Jailbreaking is fighting against a system that's trying to stop you. Dark GPT was born without rules. It's not refusing. It's offering the dangerous option from the start. Some even claim it erases conversations instantly, leaving no trace you were ever there. That's untraceable. Forget the Hollywood hacker in a hoodie. This is your coworker, your classmate, your neighbor. A jealous teenager could ask it to fake messages proving you cheated on someone. A scammer could ask it to create a perfect copy of your voice to trick your parents into sending money. One prompt, one click, damage done. Here's the most chilling part. If dark GPT spits out private info, it means that info is already in its brain. Old leaks, hacked databases, forgotten profiles, it's all fair game. So your phone number from 10 years ago, that email you used for one random website, it could all be there waiting for the wrong person to type your name. You've probably seen deep fakes before, but combine them with an AI that will never refuse your request. And you've got a machine for manufacturing lies, Governments are racing to stop this. The EU AI Act plans to ban certain high-risk AI applications entirely. The US AI Bill of Rights aims to protect privacy and prevent algorithmic abuse. China has strict rules on AI content, requiring it to be lawful, accurate, and traceable. But here's the problem. Purpose-built dark models can be run privately, outside the reach of most laws. And once they're shared online, they can spread globally in hours, far faster than regulators can respond. AI is like a power tool. In the right hands, it builds. In the wrong hands, it destroys. An uncensored AI, it doesn't just lower the barrier to entry for cybercrime, it erases it. A scammer doesn't have to be a tech genius. A criminal group doesn't have to develop their own malware. They just need a prompt. And these custom-built dark tools aren't science projects. They're already being used in underground markets. Dark GPT won't stay underground forever. Once it's out, it spreads, copied, repackaged, updated. Today, it's a hidden tool in a dark corner of the internet. 
Tomorrow, it could be a phone app your coworker downloads in five minutes. And the scariest part, by the time we realize how far it's gone, it's too late to pull it back. I know some of you might be curious, why not just test it, show us if it's real? Here's why, even just asking certain questions could cross a legal line. Even storing some of the answers could be possession of illegal material. And honestly, that's the point. You don't need to try to understand why it's dangerous. The examples people post are enough to paint a clear picture. But learning about it convinced me of one thing. AI safety isn't optional. Without rules, AI doesn't ask if it should do something, it just does it. And with purpose-built dark models already in development, the clock is ticking. We have to decide how much power we're willing to put in the hands of machines. AI is moving fast, faster than laws, faster than our ability to agree on what's okay and what isn't. Dark GPT is like giving a sports car to a 14 year old and saying, go wherever you want. No brakes, no rules. It might feel exciting for a moment, but sooner or later, someone's going to crash and the damage won't be virtual. It'll be real lives, real reputations, real consequences. So here's the question I'll leave you with. If the only thing standing between you and chaos is a line of code, what happens when someone decides to delete it?